If you've never sat on the floor on, in a hostel to talk about your finances, I don't think you've traveled. So I've been doing these finance videos on Instagram since I started traveling, but I thought I might as well make it a little bit more elaborate here on YouTube. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about a little bit about how I keep my finances and also about my expenses in the last month. So this video, this type of video is going to go live every month. Um, last month I was in Vilnius for most of the time anyway and a little bit in Latvia so it gives you an idea as well of how much it is to travel to these places and how much it costs to travel as a nomad in general. Yeah, so when I left England I had like an X amount of savings which I'm not gonna tell you because you know we're, we're new here we don't know each other that well I don't know maybe gonna come and help me in Russia for my savings. <laughs> um, so basically at the beginning of the trip I took away 15% of what I had saved. Let's call that Y. Um, so what I've been doing, I call that my cash flow. So that money, the 15% of everything I have saved, Y, um, is the money I can use to book travel, book hostels, is the maintenance money that I can buy food. I go to the supermarket here in Russia, the money comes from that pot. So the way I like to work it out is if at the end of the month I've got less than Y, so less than the original amount I put away, then that means traveling is costing me money. Um, if I end up with the same amount as I put away originally, then either means that I'm spending as much as I earn because I, I work online as well, or it, it can also mean that I'm plugging a gap from the previous month that I overspent in the last month. However, if I do uh, end up with more than what I originally put in, more than Y, then it means that I am saving money and traveling at the same time. Unfortunately, that's only happened um, twice, and this month was one of these, uh, or last month even, was one of these times. So uh, let's go on and talk about expenses. So this is the context to, to make you understand the, the expenditure. Last month I was in Estonia until the 12th of September. I did not spend a penny in Estonia. So I was massively helped. The, one of the reasons why I saved money last month was because of that, because the volunteer uh, opportunity that I took in Estonia was absolutely amazing and I didn't have to buy food or, or anything else. So that's one of the reasons why um, I'm doing so well right now. Uh, from the 12th onwards, I went to Vilnius. Uh, I volunteered at a hostel for about three or four days, things didn't quite work out, so I would go to Tripping Diaries number two or three, that's where I talk about that. Um, and so the rest of the, the month I spent in the hostel, so I had to pay for my accommodation. So from the 1st September to the 30th of September I spent exactly £92. If you watch Tripping Diaries number two, my target was £75. It was actually 50 with a stretch of £25 and I massively, well not massively, but I did go over budget this month. Um, £25 of those 92, they were spent in the coffee shop. <laughs> Basically, I was working quite a bit this month because I was trying to plug the gap. Um, and that meant going to the coffee shop and buying coffee because I can't just sit there and use the free Wi-Fi without buying anything. I feel bad. So every day I would buy like a little like cappuccino or a latte and that added up to £25. Um, could that be uh, reduced? Potentially. I could have worked in a hostel. Let's tell the truth. I could have sat in a hostel and worked there and I did do that for a few days. But the problem with that is there would be days where I wouldn't leave the hostel at all and that I think that would drive me a bit crazy so you know just I, I'm okay with those 25 pounds I think it's a mental health kind of expenditure because I would have spent the majority of the month in in the hostel and not seen the light of day and I don't think that's good for you this month I also had a very unusual expenditure in shopping I usually don't buy shit but for some reason this month was the month that all my shit broke. I lost my sleeping mask in a bus. My Havaianas, my flip flops, 
still wearing it because I'm not going to give them up and these are so expensive here in Europe. Mine are bought in Brazil, the originals. Um, so I did have to buy a few things. I bought like a dual connector for my phone so I can listen to music and record podcasts while my phone is charging. Um, and that amounted to 20, 22 pounds. I actually need a new pair of trousers as well because mine ripped. And I have been trying to save those trousers very, very hard. I've been sewing them for seven months and they finally said, look, just let me go, man, just let me go. 19 pounds was spent on eating out and mom always says to me when I Skype her, she always says, oh, but I know you like to cook in the hostel and save money, but you should always eat out, like just to try the local cuisine. And I agree with that, but I looked into my expenses and from those 19 pounds, only seven pounds were spent on local food. The rest was literally just me leaving the coffee shop after a day of work and walking to the hostel and, hey, look, a sushi place. Why not? And that's it. So that, yeah, aside from the seven pounds I spent uh, eating like the pancakes, the Lithuanian pancakes, the rest, yeah, it could have been saved, definitely. There was 15 pounds spent on groceries, which I'm always happy with that spend. Uh, money very well invested. Uh, I've been trying to cook more and more in the hostel, especially after in Estonia, I was helping the cook in the hostel. So I learned a lot about cooking. So I'm trying to keep that going. Um, and it's been like proportionally 16% of the expenditure. I think that's been a lot higher than usually is. So I'm actually quite happy with that. And finally, uh, 11 pounds on my hair. I have to dye my roots, so there you go. And uh, there was also like a, a, a cream for my tattoo. Speaking of my tattoo, that was done last month as well and obviously costed a little bit of money, but I'd like to say that uh, it was my birthday in August and my mom sent me money this month um, for my birthday and I used practically all of the money she sent me to pay for the tattoo and the piercing as well. Um, so I mean, I would have never had a tattoo otherwise, so I just used that extra money as like a gift to myself. And then the other type of spend that I like to leave out this budget that I create every month is the money I use for like booking forward travels. Uh, it's inevitable, I have to move. Uh, so this month I spent £104 on hostels and uh, booking buses and flights. Uh, obviously, with me leaving my volunteer uh, exchange, I had to pay for my accommodation for... I had to pay for nine nights, but World Pack has refunded me for three nights. So at the end of the day, I think I spent £56 on the hostel. Um, I also spent a little bit in Latvia because I was only staying in Latvia for a couple of days, so I paid for the hostel there as well. Um, and I obviously bought the bus to Latvia and stuff. So it's a little bit higher than usual because I usually don't pay for the hostel because I'm always volunteering. Um, but I am happy with that. I think I was in a very bad situation in, in Lithuania in the hostel I was in. And to be honest, I have the privilege of having that money that I can spend and I'm not gonna starve to death and nothing serious is gonna happen because I spent that money. So I will use it whenever I have to. And in fact, here in Russia, I am also paying for my hostel uh, because, first of all, it's cheaper than in most places. And second of all, I went on a break from volunteering. And I actually had that plan before the, the latest um, hiccup I had in Lithuania. So it was always the plan to take this month off and focus on working online, on doing the podcast that I do in Portuguese uh, and also these videos. And although I don't have a normal lifestyle, I still have bills to pay. Believe me or not, I still have bills to pay. So let's talk about the monthly expenses now. So there's a little one. I pay for, for extra space in iCloud, uh, which I still count, it's like 79p, but I count it because every penny helps. And the second thing is I pay for a storage unit in Manchester where I keep most of my belongings. Uh, I didn't get rid of everything when I left England. Uh, there was like stuff uh, which I had an emotional attachment to, so I couldn't just get rid of it. So it's there in the storage unit. I also pay for my health insurance. Uh, it's actually a travel insurance, very important. 
important to have when you're traveling. I have used it before. Uh, I put on my Instagram a video of my experience with it. And finally, I have my phone bill uh, to pay. And also I have, it's like, I had, when I left England, I had a bit of a debt with the energy company uh, that used to provide energy to my flat. Um, and they allowed me to pay in monthly installments. Uh, so I was paying for that. And while I'm talking about that, I'm really happy because my monthly bills are gonna drop massively from next month onwards. First of all, because of this energy debt is cleared, I actually, they sent me an email saying that I overpaid. So they're gonna give me back 63 pounds. Uh, I actually need to tell the hostel that they're gonna send me a check. Um, so there is that, so next month I'm not going to have, it, it's £54, so it's quite a, a big chunk of money. Um, and the second one was my phone bill, so basically I finished paying off my contract and then I moved on to uh, a £20 unlimited internet deal with three. Um, but yeah, the internet was not unlimited, there was a lot of problems in the transition and they gave me like shit customer service. And then I was like really pissed off. And then I was on the phone with them, always polite. I never, I'm not one of those to yell at people, but I was like, really, this customer service is crap. Like, just let me out. Uh, and obviously I was expecting them to give me something. Uh, and they gave me six months free. <laughs> so there's gonna be, I'm not gonna pay for my phone bill for six months. So that's like another, what is that? 120 pounds savings for the next six months. So that's amazing. So in the end, uh, my monthly bills are usually £167 um, and from next month onwards they're going to be £72 for six months and then they're going to go up to 92 which is alright as well. So yeah, as I said in the beginning, it was a really good month. Uh, I made money this month which is incredible. I'm always so, so grateful for being able to travel and make money at the same time. Again, it only happened twice, <laughs> so I need to cherish these moments. I think uh, the focus now is to work very hard this month. Now that I'm having a break from volunteering and I've got more time, I need to focus on making some more money. Uh, on proofreading because uh, I'm going to see the Northern Lights uh, in November um, and if you follow me on Instagram you already know this so do follow me if you want uh, for more like on the go updates. Um, so I'm going to see the Northern Lights and it's uh, extremely expensive. The hostel itself is £36 a night and it's, it's ridiculous. You have to pay for a tour to see them as well and the tour is a hundred pounds which i'm okay with paying that because it is one of my like dreams one of my bucket list items um but yeah the whole trip for only three or four days is going to cost me 350 pounds ish so the focus is to work hard to get those 350 pounds back and also to try and get the money i'm going to spend here in russia back uh, because i'm paying for the accommodation so, you know, I can maybe have another month of at least staying even, I don't know. Um, but if I can at least pay off the costs of the Norway trip, because it's only four days, because after that, I'm going to have to find another volunteer experience. I'm going to have more expenses and it's just going to, if I'm, if I start another month with 350 pounds down, it's going to get ugly. So I don't want to do that. So yeah, I'm going to bed now and I'm limping because of my <laughs> flip-flops. <laughs> but um, if you've got any questions, drop them down below. Go on Instagram, send me DMs, whatevs. Um, yeah, see you next time.